Welcome, you're watching Kaleidoscope Selling Ka Life News Capsule. President Ranil Vikramasinghe as Minister of Finance unveiled the 2023 budget this week. An ambitious yet much needed plan to revive and modernize the economy, distancing it from past traditions of populist policies and instead setting sights on policies and strategies for an export-oriented competitive economy, environmentally friendly green and blue economy and digital economy with reforms being a key factor. I checked in with the Chairman of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, Vish Govindasamy, on the pulse of the corporate sector post-budget. Vish, Budget 2023 is an ambitious one. It has a lot of restructuring, a little, lot of transformation that will have to happen if we are to meet our targets. Now, from your point of view, what do you think of Budget 2023? Overall, I think the direction of the budget is good. It's more policy than our usual reduction of this and giveaway of this and freebies and etc. So for a change we have uh, you know changed of giving freebies uh, but uh, I'm very concerned on the ambitious revenue target. Uh, I hope we can uh, make it because without that uh, the international donors and the IMF will find it very difficult to fund us because they keep saying that uh, our debt is not um, sustainable. Uh, on the other side, not much has been said about the expenditure. Uh, I would have liked to have heard something like we are going to reduce 10% of our defense budget. Unfortunately, I think it's there in small words, but there is not a big uh, attempt. Yes, we are trying to reduce the public sector, but it's a long road. You know, uh, we have gone from a 600,000 people public sector to a one and a half million. Reducing a million people in two, three years is, is a dream. But uh, I hope uh, consistency, SOE reform, uh, the, the right price uh, for the utilities, etc. are finally a good thing. We have to get away from uh, being always uh, subsidized. We cannot live in a subsidized world and uh, keep feeling good. The budget is designed to appease our international donors. Would this, however, have been what the corporate sector actually expected from Budget 2023? The difference in uh, what the corporate sector usually expects is uh, some amount of uh, sustainable things that we can go. And uh, I, I have seen that, you know, there are changes that has been made over three years and five years rather than overnight. In the past, everything was tomorrow morning this will change. Uh, but uh, the, the kind of taxes that we are going to pay is not some, any corporate would not have wanted it, but do we have a choice? We don't have a choice. We are in a world today, I think if Sri Lanka has to go forward, each, each and every one of us has to tighten our belt and that's the unfortunate situation. As for the businesses, next 12 to 18 months are going to be extremely difficult with the uh, contracting economy, uh, you know, 10% contraction, uh, the demands are crashing, uh, our working capitals are mounting at 30 odd percent interest rates. So this is a most difficult time for businesses. I, I, in my career, I have not faced such a difficult time uh, for businesses. A big thank you to the partners on our show who are truly one of a kind. Skills for Inclusive Growth and Australian Aid, Selling for Life, CDB and The Morning Newspaper. Thank you. And if you like Kaleidoscope and don't want to miss out on our weekly show, subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. We will take care of the risks. Silly good life.